Hi, my friends. Boy, have I had a couple of two days. And I'm gonna do some videos when I get a chance about some things that have been going on here that all the different themes that are running around the world. I mean, it's becoming a mess, right? We've got everything from Karens to narcissists to, to battles of sexual orientations to non buyers to transgenderism to frickin' banks to uh, attacking to regional banks, big brother, big sister. My goodness, can you believe the chaos? I cannot even, you know, we can't even grasp the the you know, Karens, the Chads, the Darrens, the the whatevers, right? You got to be kidding me! Just when I think there can't be another piece of chaos, there's another one, right? There is it is a snowballing effect, chaos within chaos. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because I had a situation with the Erie uh, Police Department in Colorado, which is my was one of my hometown things that before I ran when I was running for governor, that in Colorado. I found it surprising some details. I don't want to mention names that uh, they don't really knew who I was, and they did, but they um, are attacking me in a roundabout way. That you know we're fighting for them, which is surprising. They can't; these people can't separate friend from foe, which is ridiculous. Because I know that you're a friend of these people, because you wouldn't be listening to this video or even engaging and trying to help yourself and better yourself and to help so you can help these people in the society. I know you that way. But where I'm here, I'm gonna have to pause this for a minute because I've got to make this clear in my thoughts. So hold on a second. Okay, so here's the thing is I'm kind of all over the place tonight because I'm a little tired, but uh you know, the thing is, they're trying to create order out of chaos, you remember? And uh, that's the whole theme. You know, the whole B satanic system is to create chaos, and then order. And orders through government laws, things that shackle and buckle the people down even more, right? And, you know, so we kind of, it sounds crazy, we want to be the chaos out of their order. That we want to be the ones that disrupt it. We want to be the voice. We want the ones that want to uphold human rights. We want to be the one that holds up soul rights and things like that. So we are the chaos. And you know, the thing is that through the Mandela effect and other things, that we are the aliens here. We are. That whatever reality this is and whatever, you know, situation that's going on here that we are the aliens. And matter of fact, every human being here is actually the alien. It sounds weird, but we're even more so. And I was telling the guy tonight that there's been many people that communicated this from Plato to Socrates to uh, ancient uh, other religions that, you know, it's a simulated environment. It's a theater. It's, you know, the shadow on Plato cave wall and stuff like this. And I know that I keep repeating these things, but I'm finding solutions that I believe that how we can deal with this theater, this simulation, this, just the drama. I just can't handle the drama even today because I had to deal with drama. And yes, I kind of fed it a little bit with the Erie Police Department where they actually started harassing me. And I told them you gotta quit harassing me. And I find it surprising that everybody has these emotions and feelings they claim for, well, that's not right. That price, you know, like we've seen so many videos about police um, brutality. We've seen so many videos about police disrespecting constitutional laws, thinking they're above the law. And we've seen so much where they don't even understand the law. Which surprises me because how can you enforce the law if you don't understand what the law is to begin with? I asked one of the officers of Erie Police Department, a lady, I said, what are the amendments to the Constitution? Can you tell me? And she could not tell me. And I said, well, what about the uh, freedom of speech? She could not repeat it. 
they should be at a higher standard, right? And we got foreigners that come across from other countries that can speak more about our amendments, about our rights. Even if you can't understand what number it is, that they understand what America represents. And you got officers across this nation that can't even understand the basics, the, the thought behind it, the theory of what makes it constitutional rights, which is based on some human rights, which is absolutely, I just, it's shocking to me. It's another one of these things that I just cannot even grasp that how you can hold a position with a gun, a very dangerous situation where you can't understand what the law is to, so that you shouldn't have to use that gun. And that's the thing that makes me upset is that we have even Donald Trump and we have Biden and we have governors, we have all these politicians that are not watching what's happening on the streets. They're so caught up in the game of, of who wants to be the top of the world that they're not even paying attention to solving the issues on the backyard of back streets. Even the governor of California, he is a mess. He's out traveling, doing other crap, and not even taking care of his backyard. He's not solving homeless issues. He's not dealing with the crime. He's not doing anything. And then you had the mayor of Chicago, to give an example, the lady who uh, came from some guy said, you're gonna go down to history for a thousand years of how you've run this, my hometown, this guy, the news guy. He, she put a gag order on him where he can't even talk, freedom of speech. And you're seeing across the nation, you're seeing the clap, collapse of the, of the, of the uh, states that represent this nation. State of mind, the states. And that's why I'm really going to do this video. I'm even going to title it that people said that, you know, they're talking about that we should defund the police. You know what? You kind of have to think that almost be a good cause, right? But in the way the situation is, that defund the police would you create uh, the Wild West across the world, would you not? Well, our world, United States of America. There's this cry to defund the police, and you can understand why, because I see it every day. Especially when I not see them doing their duty, or good people being attacked over when they're not, you know, when they shouldn't be. I've got case after case, witness after witness, of, you know, that of videos of me myself being attacked, and, and also being, uh, nobody responding to calls when, uh, like the gas tankers, they're about to drive off the cliff when the guy's throwing bricks and rocks and nobody shows up when he called 911 so there's another lady. Didn't even bother. The whole San Diego could have caught him fire. Thank God it didn't. So, do we defund the police? How do we fix the situation? Well, here's the issue. Defunding the police is probably not at this time, but you know, only God knows and the gods and the creator no, the answer to this and the angels work in the high command above. But here's the thing is that if you can't defund them, then they got to correct their behavior. They should be held at a responsibility higher than the citizens. When you are in a profession as something like that, they shouldn't be able to hide behind the, what's called the dimity, uh, whatever that term is. They hide behind the shield. They should be held at a standard higher by citizens. They shouldn't be able to attack citizens, break constitutional laws, demand IDs when there's been no probable causes, and fake investigations, and insulting people and thinking they're above the law. You gotta be kidding me. Their standards should be higher and their butts should be going behind bars when they violate those laws for harassment, constitutional violations, and everything like this. See, because even at a federal law, there are constitutional rights, and there are federal, the federal rights, the Constitution, and other amendments. But the, also the state laws actually back that. California state laws, statutes, and so does Colorado. They tend to mimic it. Not perfectly, but they do have those things in place, freedom of speech, freedom of privacy, all these other things. And so that surprises me that you can put, see it's called entitlement too. You entitle them to have, to not be responsible. Nobody's made responsible in this world. It's shocking. Nobody. 
everybody's entitled to from the IRS agents to the government to to whatever politician everybody's entitled and even I told you even some of the homeless think they're entitled I, you deserve to give me everything I got because I'm homeless everybody's entitled you don't entitled to anything in this world you got to earn your keep and that's what kills me because I am busting my butt I actually had a uh, San Diego Housing Commission lady call me and because I am trying to get a, a, a better place to settle down and uh, in this system it was all garbage there is nobody that's going to help you especially being a Caucasian guy between the age of 40 and, six, uh, 40 and 65 they do not give a crap about you whatsoever and but they'll vote in people from the Ukraine and all over the world and give them a, immediate housing. Even a buddy called me in San Diego and said, "Boy, you should see how many people they're moving in from Ukraine into these apartment complexes and into me, and, I, and I'm homeless." I was on that same list for two years, folks. Nobody offered me an apartment, and I paid my taxes. I gave everything this country, and they, this country has done nothing in return. Nothing. What can I do? You know, even Kenny said, what, what can you do for your country? I did everything I could. And guess what? Got nothing in turn. It is disgusting. Now, under God's right, you know, only God knows, did those people from Ukraine deserve a better place than me? I don't know. I can't answer those questions. But if you can't help yourself, you can't help anybody. And it's just like this nation. This nation, if it doesn't help itself, it can help nobody. And it's falling apart from the inside out. And maybe that's the best thing that happened to this country to finally collapse because these people have forgotten their ways. How many people that have tried to... Um, it was a, it's a great country. If you look at the, uh, the foundations it's supposed to be based on, no matter what, we know that it's all been a lie because it's the actions of this country that was all the false, the false dreams and all this other crap that we know about, right? But I got to tell you, it's pretty disgusting when nobody wants to help out, even the churches. You try. I have asked churches to help myself and others. I have asked uh, all the government programs. I have done everything I can, and you will get zero help. But it's upside down. What's crazy about that, and yes, it's going to be a racial thing, that if you are of a different race or if you have uh, drug use or any other weird uh, background, it is easier to get, on, get accepted on those lists. There is a background system that happens like you wouldn't believe. You know, and shouldn't you be able to help the ones that are trying to help themselves, the ones that are looking for, I know, I've met homeless people that they're actually serious about trying to get a job and get back on their feet, whatever situation they ended up on there, and they're the ones that get left behind. So you leave the good left behind, Right, because those goods become those people become uh, more responsible citizens, and their ones are going to take that torch and help other ones because they're in that situation. But I'll be honest, there are selfish ones, the homeless ones on these streets. But they're not going to help anybody. You give them a free will, and they'll trash the place, they'll burn it up. I'm not kidding you. They'll they'll break the rules, and then pretty they ruin it for everybody. It's true, my friends. I mean, it's sad because I understand that when you work these streets, what happens. And those, some of those people have mental health issues that need permanent fixing. That, that providing them a home ain't going to solve those issues. It's putting a band-aid, you know, just a, uh, you know, putting a band-aid over a, a wound that keeps on bleeding. When, that, when we need to do surgery to cut the, the blood off and help these people. So anyway... So that is my rant, and I'm trying to stay positive because this really will give us back what we feed it. I told you that. But I tell you what, I'm going to repeat again. Defund the police. I'm at the point where I don't care, and I care a little bit less every day. Maybe that's what the country needs. Because they got to pick it up and lead by example, and they got to quit attacking the citizens. It is worse than Hitler Gestapo. Did you know I heard a story that just about made me puke from my mother about happened in Denver, Colorado? That there was a young, there was a gentleman, that literally, that that some officers in Denver had literally took their uh, their baton, their wand thingy, and shoved it up his rear end, caused him permanent damage. 
his intestines. He has problems. He was in the hospital for a year trying to recover to to even be able to to have his in, you know having bathroom issues and other intestinal issues because and and there nothing was done to these these officers nothing they caused per, and could you imagine that the 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 inhumanity of taking a nightstick and shoving up somebody's rear end you got to be kidding me folks that is the worst and I can and there's things like that happen every day and I'm telling you where are your politicians you don't think I mean, that's, I mean, this is common news. Where are they? Because I'd be correcting that behavior, whether it's mayor or whoever, the electoral officials, I would be saying no more of that crap. We're going to start firing people if they do that and throw them behind bars. And I tell you what, fighting that system, good luck. I'm still trying to file a lawsuit against the Orange County uh, Sheriff because I ended up spending uh, three, three days in Orange County uh, jail uh, for a false allegation myself you can't get representation so we used to complain in this country taxation without representation you got to be kidding me it's called not even uh, not it's not even taxation without representation it's called uh, you know uh, being illegally held without representation in this country you are guilty before innocent in a society the, and that's the problem. I've had attorneys tell me, he said, you be careful out there and these other people because he said, these officers, Kirk, you, they can do I mean, they can do whatever they want. These attorneys work 25, 30 years in uh, criminal and civil cases. And they told me that, they, man, they are like think they're like the untouchables, the mafia. They're worse than the Gestapo. They should never have gotten that far. And they said, you can't touch them, Kirk. He said, good luck. And you try, I'm seriously, you know, it is disgusting. And this ain't, I'm trying not to create more hate between the officers and this and that, but somebody's got to step it up. And I'm telling you what, I, if I was in those political positions, I would be fixing this crap in about two damn minutes. I'm tired of hearing about, well, Biden said this and somebody said that and governor did this and that mayor did that. You got to be kidding me. Is there any one true human being here? That's not an NPC, even a politician, who says, you know, I can see this and I'm going to stop it. you got to be kidding me. Anyway, so that's my rant. Take care and love you all.